Hello! I am going to talk to you a little bit about feminine and masculine energy and how I use it in the work that I do. This question came up on the masterclass and I don't know if I actually answered it very well. By the way, the masterclass is still up for another week or so. And if you are part of my free Facebook group, I'm about to do a free Zoom room for two hours at 11 o'clock New Zealand time, which is in an hour and 45 minutes. So you can go and grab the link from there and you can join me. And that's where I do free mini coaching. And some of you are going to have questions about, about the release live course that's coming up because the early bird finishes tomorrow. But I'm going to use the feminine and masculine energy example and how it shows up in your body when it comes to knee pain. So you can use this for any one-sided body issues. And I found it really fascinating that when I was in clinic, I would have people come in and say to me, I have all right-sided body issues or I have everything happen on my left side. And I do have a podcast specifically about this. But what I would find is that the right-hand dominant people who had right-sided body issues would say, it's because I'm right-handed and I use my right side all the time and I've worn it out. But if the right-handed dominant person had left-sided body issues, they would say, I've got all these problems on my left side because it's the weak side. So it's the rational brain that your mind that gets in the way that tries to seek to understand it tries to blame and find a reason for why it is presenting a certain way so likewise the left hand dominant people would say the same thing left-sided issues because i'm left hand dominant and if they had right-sided issues then they would say it was because they were weak so constantly finding excuses so um this shows up a lot with shoulders and I'm going to go into the example of knees. So what does right-sided knee pain mean and what does left-sided knee pain mean? Now you can have a whole range of issues that are going on in your knees. They can be stiff, they can be loose and you can go down into the minutiae of that and the emotions that are stored in your body and presenting and manifesting this way. But I do like to keep things really basic. So if you've got a niggly knee or this random knee pain, because it never is random, it usually is linked to an event or something that's going on or an energy that's going on in your life prior to you manifesting these symptoms, or you've had recurrent knee injuries that just don't seem to be healing, you're getting complications, maybe you have had surgery and you've done all your rehab and it's been really great, but you still have problems, then I always encourage you to look at the emotional. Um, and before you end up in that place, I encourage you to always look at emotional. So the right side of your body is your masculine energy. And a lot of people think, okay, this has to do with males in my life. And it can, but on an energetic level, masculine energy is about being driven, doing analytical, processed, very physical all the time. It's about the logical brain, like all of the next steps, planning, strategy. The left side of your body is your feminine, which can have to do with females in your life, but the feminine energetics is about using your intuition, your emotional expression, and also um, your creativity. So I sort of like use those key parts when I'm explaining the masculine energy and the feminine energy, and there's a lot more to it. And my comparisons are that you have masculine energy during the day, or they call it yang in Chinese medicine, and then you have feminine energy at nighttime, which they call yin. So basically we need, and we all have, whether or not you're male or female, a feminine and a masculine energy, and they need to balance out. And thanks everyone for joining. So in the, in the sense of Western society, when you're just like driving really hard with your masculine energy, you can do that for a certain amount of time, but you can't maintain that. You need to balance it out with a feminine aspect. You need to have your rest. You need to have your sleep and you need to be able to recover. So if I come back to the example of knees, the knees are one of the secondary areas for your solar plexus. So your solar plexus governs emotions around your sense of identity, trust, self-esteem, confidence, 
and it also has to do with power, authority and ego. And it's what helps us speak up and gives us the right to act and transform things. And a lot of people get stuck doing this because they fear criticism and judgment of if they express themselves, what are people going to think about me? So the main area for the solar plexus is across like the lower part of your rib, rib cage under your breasts around the stomach or the gut area. But our chakras, so these are chakras, have secondary locations in the body. And it's all of your joints and it's also the nose on your face. So if I come back to knees, it's around solar plexus, and some of you might resonate with this if you've got niggly knee issues, but if you have problems on the right side of your knee, then this usually represents or emotionally means that you might be having some issues around your sense of direction when it comes to your career path. So your career path is very much in that masculine energy. So what direction are you heading in? And your lower limbs in general are what help you step forwards in that right direction. So anyone who comes to me with right knee niggles, I always go, okay, well, how are you feeling around your career and the path and direction that it is heading in right now? Especially if it is just random, unexplained knee pain. Now, I have a podcast with my husband, Gavin Lang. It was one of the very early ones, and he had some crazy knee stuff happen. He's had a couple of incidences of meniscus tears, and I will get into talking about the left knee, and it was his injury to his left knee that sort of alerted me to um, the, the, other, the other meanings behind it. So he knows that whenever he has had these right knee issues that he's been questioning his path in his career and only on reflection has he recognised this. And he used to get a lot of injuries, knees, shoulders, neck, all sorts of stuff. That's what the podcast interview is about and he found himself at one of his lowest points with a um, neck injury, a disc injury. And one of his goals was just to have a injury-free year. So he's finally managed to do that and part of it was he was in the right um, career as a mountain guide but he wanted to pivot in the way that he guided his clients into the high mountains with all of his technical climbing and it was really bringing in all the energetics and the spiritual aspect into that and the growth in the journey. Okay, so if you have right knee issues, this is about sense of direction, particularly around masculine energy and mostly around your career pathway and work. Now, if you have left knee issues, this is what I call your relationship knee. Um, so this is your feminine aspect and it really is about how comfortable are you in your sense of your role in your relationship. And if I come back to the solar plexus energy, it is about your sense of identity, how trusting you are in your relationship. Can you express yourself fully in your relationship? And there are a lot of people that can't express themselves and communicate fully and deeply in their relationships. Um, what else is there? Just like the whole role thing I talked about, um, power, authority and ego, is do you feel like that there is a healthy balance and dynamic in your relationship with the feminine and the masculine aspect? So... For men, it would be, do you feel comfortable and safe in your relationship with your feminine energy? And also um, for the females as well, do you feel fully supported and that you're heading in the right direction, the right path in your feminine energy with this partner? And as we know, when um, if you've been in a partnership and one of you is doing some self-development or some emotional work, all of a sudden it can feel like you're going these separate pathways. Anyway, so left knee, there's another little um, little aspect to the left knee because I was very hard on this is about um, relationships. But the other thing that came up for me is that it can come up with the career stuff, particularly if you not, are not expressing yourself in your career. So this is why I use Gab's example. So he was a mountain guide. He did enjoy that. It is a very sort of... Um, they're a different breed. They're just, their minds are <laughs> like what they can do and what they can push themselves through. It is very masculine energy. But then through his own pain story, um, took a step back and really delved into deeper into the emotions and the spiritual aspect. And so it was 
Remember I talked about feminine, is about using your intuition, your creativity and your emotional expression and it was bringing that, so he had some left knee issues and then bringing that into play with his um, career and how he expressed himself with his mountain guiding. So I think it is really important with the career path, whatever you're on, especially if you've been in it for a while, is just for me as well, is just being prepared for it to evolve and grow over your lifetime. It is a really exciting journey if you are open to the possibilities. If you have right knee niggles, definitely consider what path you're on. And you can always just tune into the discomfort that you have and just go with whatever event or whoever comes up for you. And then that's where I talk a lot about emotional processing, which is in that masterclass replay or it's on the podcast that I've put up for about the next 10 days. And then if you have left knee issues, are you having any trust issues? Do you feel, feel fully supported in your relationship? And do you feel like you're heading in the right direction together? And a lot of this comes down to um, communication rather than just like getting spun out in your own mind. Okay, so I thought I would hash that out a little bit more because I didn't talk about feminine and masculine energy in my masterclass. Um, if you're still watching... In about an hour and a half, I've got my free Zoom room, but you do have to be part of my Facebook group to get that link. I have popped the link up there. You don't need to register for it. And this is where I do mini coaching just for anyone who pops up and feels brave enough to ask a question because I don't have a... I don't have a good filter when people ask me questions, not in terms of that I offend people, but I just say what I see and based on what is going on for them. And also because I had the masterclass on Sunday, which leads into the live release course. Hope I'm not confusing you. Some of you are going to have questions about that and the early bird ends tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this is really, if you've been clicking on the link a billion times and <laughs> you, you think you want to jump on board, then I encourage you to do that. But if you need to clarify anything, then in an hour and a half, I will be on Zoom. So, so Cal, so goods. I actually did this video for you. Um, this was a question that you asked about feminine and masculine. So go back and watch it. I'll pop it on my post and... I'll just say hello to some people. Hi, Joe. Hi, Josephine. Hi, Byron. Annabelle. And I'm not too sure who the other people are, but thank you very much for joining. And I'll be going live a little bit more regularly. Have a happy Friday. See ya.